absolutely vital things that you need to know about manifestation. Hey, I'm Michelle Clark, author of Woman Up, the podcast and the book, and business coach to you. I want to talk about manifestation today because it's just so important. And, and so many of my clients and so many of you that reach out to me, you tell me that you're doing all the things for manifestation and you're connecting to it and I've helped you to tidy up the language and language really, really matters, by the way. But we're going to talk about that in a little second. In fact, I'm going to give you the three things that you are probably missing or need to tweak about manifesting right now. Plus, I'm going to give you a little bit of preamble about the things that you need to do before you do the manifesting so that you can make sure that it is actually A, what your soul wants, B, what you want, and see that you're actually going to be able to manifest it. So we're going to dive into all of that. And as always, I try and keep this really short for you so that you can get on with your day. So forgive me if I talk a little bit fast today because I have a lot to say about this. I've got a lot to say about manifesting and why you want it to work, but it doesn't always work. But I want to start with, um, with a parable, a story that I remember. Um, and I can't, I'm not very good at telling stories, but let me give it a crack. So... There is a Buddhist group or whatever, you know, religious and nominality you want it to be. They're sitting in a circle and there is a candle in the middle. <clears throat> and they are trying their absolute hardest and meditating. They're using the power of their mind. They're connecting to each other's minds. They're using every single tool that they have in their kit, <clears throat> excuse me, to try and blow this candle out. And they're trying and it flickers and it wavers a little bit and then it flickers again. And in the end, the the leader, the, the Buddha stands up and he says, the time has come and now the candle shall no longer be. And everyone's like, oh my God, he's going to do it with his mind. And he stands up and he goes, and he blows the candle out. And everyone's like, what? I thought you did all of this with the power of your mind. And the thing is, is you can have full power of the mind and it's absolutely vital. But unless you're taking aligned action, how are you making yourself available for that to happen? Sometimes you have to, well, all of the time, you have to take action. Okay, even if, even people that manifest winning lotto, right? Like it's a real thing. Go and Google it. Seriously, you can manifest lotto if you want to. It's just not within my realm of what I want. It's not within my values, right? I enjoy working. Um, but if, even if you were to manifest winning lotto, you'd actually have to go out and buy the lotto ticket. Okay, it's not just going to plop into your wallet or you'd have to manifest that, you know, spread it around that you want to win lotto and so someone buys you a lotto ticket for your birthday but regardless you're going to have to actually take actions to get there and that's what I want to talk about today is that you must take actions on manifesting your goals into reality and I think sometimes we live in a world where we're taught to struggle and strive and you don't necessarily need to struggle and strive to actually manifest your goals. You don't. Okay, sometimes we try too hard. And as, if this is resonating with you, then please reach out and, and tell me. Like, I, I want to know, are you struggling too hard? Because I know that I used to struggle so hard. And I'd be like, why aren't I getting my goals? And sometimes it's about the releasing rather than the striving. So now let me give you all the goodies that I said that I would give you. So in order for you to manifest your absolute best life, best business, best relationship, hottest body, whatever it is that you're manifesting, it must be in alignment with your goals. So oftentimes you can set a massive big goal and you might get halfway towards manifesting it. It will be somewhere close to what you wanted, but it won't be big and amazing and it won't make you feel amazing because it wasn't in alignment with your values. If you want to manifest real fast, make sure that your goal aligns with your values. So, so important. And if you don't know what your values are, there's heaps of activities. I've talked about finding your values heaps of times. Um, go onto my website, michellebusinesscoach.com and have a look. There's a values exercise on there or reach out to me. The next thing that you have to do is decide, just decide that it is yours. You, there is every single infinite possibility available to you. But the thing is, is that we're shaped by what happens around us. And environment is so important. If everyone around you 
is quite happy with going to work and doing a nine to five, then it doesn't seem possible for you to reach outside of that nine to five and make a million dollars in one year because nobody else is doing it. You haven't been shown it's a reality. Just like people are starting to live longer now, like I swear, I'm living to 150. I know that I am. And all it's going to take is for someone to live to, let's say, 130, 140, and then people will know that it can be done and they will make themselves available for that opportunity and it will become a reality. So just knowing that it is available to you is part of the secret but it's kind of part of the part of the pre-steps if you like and not feeling worthy of the outcome obviously is a massive one you need to be dealing with that and you need to be dealing with that either through a course on your own with a friend with a coach but you need to be dealing with it and dealing with it constantly like just decide that you are not available for those limiting beliefs anymore Okay, are you ready for the three things that you absolutely must know in order to manifest your goals into reality? You have to connect to it every single day. There's no point in just showing up once a month and doing it. And quite often my clients say this to me, and the moment that they really flick the switch on their business and actually start achieving their goals is when they're like, ah, I actually have started doing it every single day because they don't truly believe me. When I say to them, hey, you have to connect to this vision and these goals and do your affirmations every day and do those things every day, they're like, mm, sure, you know, like, what's it going to matter if I don't do it one day? Well, it matters to manifestation because unless you're constantly thinking about that and you've constantly got it there for you, it's kind of trying to find something that I can kind of relate it to but I don't know it's like calling in a love relationship right like when you are ready for a romantic relationship and you want to get married and you want to have a baby you make yourself available for that right so you try and meet people you go out with friends so that you meet their friends and you make your body a temple ready for a baby and you do all of the things and it's constantly in your mind and you're manifesting it well it's the same with your business dreams you need to live and breathe it and make yourself absolutely available for it and part of that is connecting to it every single day so that's reading it out every single day but more than that I mean like I read out my goals like 50 times a day it's written on my wall it's written on my mirror it annoys my family no end <laughs> it's embarrassing for my child when her friends come over but whatever that is that is what it takes connecting to it daily because if you're reading it all the time then your mind is finding ways to prove the reality for you your mind is an amazing tool but we've learned to let our minds be in charge of us instead of the other way around so to manifest Put your mind to work. Say, this is what I want. Now go find it. Now please do not. This is one of the biggest things. Wow, I'm sharing so much more with you than what I planned on. I hope I'm sticking with my time limit for you. Um, where was I going with that? I've lost my train of thought. I'm very sorry. It'll come back to me. Don't worry. Um, so connecting to your goal absolutely every single day oh that's right so your brain will want to prove for you that it is actually true so if you and this is where the language comes in so that's actually the the last point that i want to tell you so i'm going to skip to there now because it makes sense to tell you now your words truly truly matter so you don't say i would like to make a million dollars a year or i am available to make a million dollars a year you have to say it like you just absolutely know it's 100 percent true I am making a million dollars a year, or better yet, I feel amazing making a million dollars a year and I can give to this, this and this charity and I can live this, this and this lifestyle and just connect to it and build on it and build on that vision and connecting to that vision really requires your five senses, you know, like really connect to it and there's a really cool activity that you can do at the end of every day to really connect to that. Um, but that's a that's a long thing to teach you. Um, I do actually have a manifestation course, which I might go into the back end of my website and make really cheap for you today. If you're listening to this today and you really feel like this is talking to you, I'm going to go into the back end of that and I'm going to slash it by, I'm going to make it a quarter of the price. How about that? Go go and have a um, a search for it. It'll it'll be on my um on my website. If you click through to the courses, you'll go in and you'll find it there. I'll go and do that for you today. Um, so that's about words mattering. And then the middle point, so the second point that I wanted to tell you was that you need to be taking aligned action. So thinking about the goal, connecting to the goal, making sure that the words of the goal are succinct and that they are framed in the positive and framed in the now, aligning your goals to your values, deciding that you are worthy, and then taking aligned action. So what is the action that the person who already is making a million dollars a year, what actions would they be taking? 
because I guarantee you they're going to do the marketing, they're going to do the talking, they're going to do the networking, they're going to do the investing, they're going to do all the damn things, right? And even if they're not doing all the damn things themselves anymore, although earning a million dollars isn't that much money a year, I have to say, you can't actually afford to employ that many people, it's not as much as what you think, right? Um, even if they're paying someone else to do all of those things, they are organizing all of those things. And until you have enough money to pay someone to do those things, then it's you, baby. It is you that needs to do the work, right? So there's, there's kind of a little weighted thing here where you need to just believe that it's just coming and you're just deserving of it, but also that you must actually take the aligned action to have it birthed into reality for you. Those two things have to happen. And I think the biggest trap that people fall into is, but it's coming to me, I know it's mine, and I'm just going to sit here and take no action. Well, that is actually a way of your brain sabotaging you and pushing it away. You also must take the aligned actions. That really is the secret, taking the aligned actions, getting up, standing up, and blowing out the damn candle. I hope that's been really helpful for you today. I could talk about manifestation for 600 years, but hopefully I have kept within my time limit for you. So remember, my darlings, together we shall rise. Manifest, take aligned action, and get out there and actually change the world. Bye for now.